Good day and welcome to this walkthrough video of Rolly, a Barracuda 8. Uh, she was uh, she splashed in 2018, uh, but the big feature about this uh, particular boat, Rolly, is that she's hardly been used, as I'll show you in a minute as we walk round. There are some very telltale signs going on here. Uh, she's only got 20 hours on her uh, 250 horsepower Suzuki engine four stroke um, and basically that's because really she hasn't done anything um, but I'll take you around her this is, as you know I've waxed lyrical about French boats particularly and how they use space uh, but this boat really does top top it all in terms of the utilization of space um, on a great boat that has got fantastic sea keeping uh, credentials uh, but a, a decent amount of comfort for perfect day day sailing and day cruising or using as uh, a fishing boat she's got lots of little extras for fishing as well I'm not a fisherman but I'll try and point out all the ones that we, she's got um, so we've got the, um, the, the, the the forward view here um, you can see the extra uh, remote control searchlight on the roof there um, and uh, she's looking obviously very pretty um, nice big anchor and I'll talk about that when we get on board um, one of the features of this excellently specified boat um, built boat is that uh, you've got these two um, side gangways with access so you can walk around her beautifully um, just looking then at the the engine um, obviously she's uh, she the, the engines in at the moment but but we obviously keep her the engine out, the outboard engine, out, out of the water at the time. But I've just dropped her for you just so you can see her properly. Um, let's get on board and let's go round her. First of all, nice little um, entrance here onto the boat. Down here we have um, a manual build pump we've got a deck shower here get my hand out of the way and down here we have a, a, um, a cockpit um, cleaning mechanism with hose separate hose that you connect into there um, all around the boat you've got um, fishermen fishing uh, type of uh, holders fish rod holders and one of the things I really like if, if you've never heard of it uh, you may, might not be aware um, sorry I've just lost you there um, you might not be aware but this, um, this rail blazer is a great thing he's had this added and I'll talk about this uh, a little bit later but it's a, an ingenious system he's got these anchor type units for rail blazer the best thing rather than me wax lyrical and take up time on this video is for you to have go and do a, um, a google search on railblazer it's a great modular table system and he's got these anchorage points all over the boat so um if you look in the in the pictures that i've added to the boat you'll see there's a very clever uh, ingenious system whereby this um uh, this double seat here moves right across to the other side and then we have a, um, a pole that goes that is stored underneath in this locker and then you have a system whereby this table folds down and these two tables one table here and one table here fold down and you've got yourself a lovely uh, big um, with a with a, a wooden table you'll see a lovely wooden table you will see that you've got a, a lovely eating out area here in the cockpit um, You've got a bait chamber here. I'm told that that's a bait chamber. Um, I'm not a fisherman. Um, and you've obviously got cup holders here and here. And uh, again, a rail blazer unit there, another rail blazer unit there. And you can see, look at this vast gangway up to the foredeck. Beautiful, really well, well designed. Um, look again on the pictures to see you know, the, the table hasn't I, when I erected the table uh, for the pictures that was the first time I believe the table has actually been in position so that's how new this boat is so it's brand new wood it hasn't even been in the elements at all um, 
as you go here into through this you've got obviously a sliding door mechanism a very Benito type of sliding door mechanism I'm not going to use it now but it's because it's open but there we go we look into the uh, wheelhouse uh, nicely laid out wheelhouse all very practical with side access both to the starboard and here to the port um, you got your two forward facing seats and this seat here folds out um, then you have this seat over here folds out and then if I can show you it you've got this ingenious table right up here um, flush to the ceiling and again if you look in my pictures uh, on the website you'll see that that table comes down uh, and sits at that knurled area there and then you've got a nice little indoor seating area for four here uh, where you can drink um, your rosé or wine if the elements are bad. Um, coming into the cockpit then we've got a standard uh, really well laid out uh, helm and with a Lawrence HDS 9 up there you've got your uh, Suzuki engine management there and um, quite well laid out. I like the, the, the fact that the the VHF is up here. Um, that's a, a very nice little addition here. Um, I think that's probably more handy than some of the other paracudas I've seen where uh, the VHF is right down here and you can't really see what's going on. So lovely, lovely 360 degree um, view from this wheelhouse all the way around. Look, um, you couldn't ask for any better visibility uh, in a boat. Just um, coming down then here, we have the uh, the double cabin. As you can see, I did tell you earlier that the boat hadn't been used. Well, look, the wrappers haven't even come off the cushions. Um, and uh, then in here we have the uh, head, a nice day head there, all really spark sparkling new, really, effectively. And uh, let's go outside now and uh, up, up to the forward deck. And again, you'll see these cushions that I've left out here um, for the seats and uh, cup holders. The cushions are there they haven't been they really haven't been sat on and then look at these cushions they've still got the the plastic covers on um all of the most of the other cushions for the rear here as i was telling you the way it's set out is um are got their plastic still on so the the new owner is going to essentially take a a boat a virtually new boat and has even got the pleasure of ripping off the plastic covers so that they can be the first bum to sit on them. So this is the searchlight. It's a nice extra remotely controlled from inside the, uh, uh, the wheelhouse. And this is what the wheelhouse looks like inside. And obviously you've got a lovely open, open window there, which you can uh, slide back and let the breeze come in. You can black out with it or you can mos mosquito, uh, put a mosquito blind across it, um, but also very, very flexible. Um, there are your speakers uh, for the stereo and yes there's this that really completes the uh, tour of this lovely boat uh, she's down here in pool uh, I can give you um, at any time call me anytime on my number 0787 50 60 90 0787 50 60 90 and um, I'll uh, show you around her she's uh, competitively priced for this market um, based on the basis that she really is totally immaculate and uh, as for the 20 hours she's got on her uh, circa 20 hours she's got on her engines she's basically unused so the person that buys her is really getting effectively a new boat um, that's all and uh, do give me a call anytime thank you